Now, the third thing I want to say uh, is that your work and our work is not complete by any means. Uh, nor uh, is, has, is everything that President Obama done so far uh, what, what he needs to do. President Obama continues, for example, to, to assert the state secrets privilege to block victims of torture from getting justice in the U.S. courts. He continues to assert that no court should have jurisdiction to review our detention of people held at Bagram Air Force Base. The Supreme Court said it, the courts have jurisdiction to hear the claims of people detained at Guantanamo. So what did the Army do after that? Instead of sending people to Guantanamo, they picked them up and sent them to Bagram. And the administration says, well, Bagram is different from Guantanamo. Uh, the court should have no uh, review of those detentions. President Obama continues to assert that people wrongly held at Guantanamo, like the Uyghurs, who everybody agrees are not enemy combatants, never should have been there in the first place. He argues the courts cannot release those people into the United States. If there's no other country that can take them, they just stay there on Guantanamo for the rest of their lives. No court can order that they be released, even when we know, and the, the courts have found, that they're not uh, enemy combatants. And most importantly, when the next attack occurs, not if the next attack occurs, but when the next attack occurs, there will be tremendous pressures brought to bear on this administration or the next administration. I don't care who the president is, there will be tremendous pressures to repeat the kinds of measures that we saw after 9-11. The roundups, the interrogations, the interviews, the profiling. And if they don't take those measures, they will be attacked. And they will be attacked by the Dick Cheney's of this world who will say, see, President Obama came into power, he went soft on terrorism, and we got another attack. So we have to prepare ourselves and we have to prepare the nation for that eventuality because no country is free of violence. And to do that, to prepare ourselves and prepare this nation for that eventuality, we need to do the work now, the work that CARE is doing now, the work of educating people about the Muslim community, the work of sending spies into Congress, uh, as, uh, as the Republican senators said, the work of, of, of building bridges with other civil society organizations so that those bridges will be there when we need them. That work needs to be done now. You know, in some ways you think, oh, we can sit back. Now we have a president who's not attacking us at every, at every step. But that's not the case. It, I mean, it is the case that it's not, we have a president who's not attacking us at every step, but we can't sit back. Because this is the moment when we can best reach out, when we can engage people and educate people, not after the attack, but before the attack. And so the work that an organization like CARE does in reaching out to the rest of the community and teaching the rest of the community that Muslims are like us, are, that we are all one people, that we are all part of this community, that we cannot be treated as different and, uh, and as, uh, as second class simply because we have a different faith or a different color uh, or a different religion. That's the work that needs to be done now so that when the next attack occurs, there will be a response that will be more reasonable, more rational, less abusive of the rights of innocent uh, Arabs and Muslims. And so I want to I want to close uh, with a, a quotation and it picks up on uh, my uh, precursors uh, comments about hope. It comes from a um, uh, a book by uh, two Harvard professors Cornell West uh, and Roberto Unger, they were Harvard professors, Cornell West is now at Princeton, uh, and they wrote uh, in this book that hope 
is more the consequence of action than its cause, as the experience of the spectator favors fatalism, so the experience of the agent produces hope. And what they meant by that is that it, it's not hope that makes us act. It's our acting together that gives us hope. And so I salute CARE this evening and all of you as our agents of hope as we go forward. Thank you very much. <laughs>